This morning for Pemina Valley Mental Health Awareness Week, we're joined by Christine Elias of the Pemina Counseling Center. Christine, thanks for joining us in studio today. Thank you, Nicole. It's my pleasure. So you're here specifically to speak on some of the things that you offer, maybe what it's like to be at the uh, the office at the Pemina Counseling Center, and whether or not uh, any problem is, is too big or too small. But first, let's get into how you got into counseling. Sure, that's a good question. I think it's my love for people. That's probably where I would start. And I noticed that, sure, even as a young person. And I, I like to work with the youth in my church and all those things. Um, I think what I found out about myself is I would often be on the receiving end of someone's problem. So it would be, someone would want to tell me their story. And I came to a place in my life where I felt like, you know what? I like being a listener, but I would love to be a helper. And so I made the decision to go back to school when my youngest daughter was in grade one and I knew I'd have a little more time to study. Absolutely. So how long now have you been in, uh, in counseling? I, in February now, I will complete my fourth year at Pemina Counseling Center. So it's, it's been actually a very short journey so far. And your favorite part of the job, what would you say that is? Okay. Two favorites come to mind, and I think the first one is when someone shares their story with me. I feel like that is such an honor and a privilege for someone to trust you with something that is so important to them. And my second, hands down, is when someone makes the personal changes in their life that they want to make. I feel so proud of them. I, I know how hard it is to break habits, especially I think when it comes to our emotional health. And so when someone has felt so stuck or maybe so sad or in a very dark place and to watch them come to a place where they can look back and say, wow, I feel so different than when I first started coming. Those are the moments that are so rewarding and, and probably a favorite part of my job. Happy to see them using the tools that you've worked so hard to provide for them. Sure, and recognizing how hard it was for them because really you can go to a counselor, you can pay the money, you can listen to the suggestions, but not everyone tries them honestly. Mm -hmm. So to watch someone take yeah, take what we've talked about together and use it, it's, it's very rewarding to see the change. In the past couple of years, you also mentioned that the Pemina Counseling Center has, has grown quite a bit because you've seen uh, more clients come in. That's true. Over the last several years, we've actually, probably the last two, we've hired three new counselors because the demand is there for counseling services. And maybe we could look at that in a, in a more pessimistic way and say, wow, our world is this difficult place to live in. There's more problems. Things are more stressful. But I think there's a bright side to it. And I think that is that people see counseling as helpful. They're, they're willing to try. They're willing to come and, and work on things in their life that are not going well. We also got into the idea of there's kind of, there's no problem too small. So what would you maybe say to somebody who's like, I, I'm okay, like there's not anything crazy going in my, on in my life. I don't think I need counseling. You know, it's funny. We look at physical health and mental or emotional health so differently. We would never say, oh shoot, I broke my leg, I should be able to handle this and not go to the doctor, right? Yeah. But when it's something emotional, but it's really painful for us, we sometimes think, oh, I should be able to handle this, right? This problem is not big enough. And I, I will even hear sometimes when um, clients sit down in my office, that first comment is, I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even know what I want to talk about. But no problem is too small, right? We we will ask the questions. The pressure is not on the client to be able to um, talk for a whole hour about something in their life, right? We have learned how to ask good questions and we'll, we'll help a client get to the place where they are talking about what they came for. And you're saying too, if like if you find a counselor that you're comfortable with, it, it's good to stick with them, You then you know their backstory. But what if someone's maybe not feeling the most comfortable with the counselor that they have chosen? Right, and that's a good point. I think people need to know that if that first session or maybe first two sessions don't go that well and you don't feel a connection or feel like you can trust your counselor, or like there's not that good therapeutic relationship, I think then it is a good idea to look for someone else that might be a better fit for you. Yeah, because it, it's all about what the, what the client needs, right? You're there for them. It really is. You, you want to feel comfortable with your counselor, otherwise it's not going to go well. 
Let's let's go to the beginning. If somebody comes to the Pemina Counseling Center for the very first time, what, what, what does that day maybe look like for them? Sure. When you walk into the office, first of all, you'll be greeted by a very friendly receptionist who will put you at ease, right? You'll talk probably fees and you'll talk some confidentiality and they'll get some information from you. Um, you'll go into the waiting room where you can help yourself to coffee or water. Um, it's a relaxing atmosphere and everyone there is, is wanting to put you at ease. Um, some people are nervous about the process, especially if it's the first time. But I think if we look at it more like a conversation like you and I are having this morning, it's like that. It's it's a comfortable office. You can bring in your beverage. You can take off your shoes. You can sit however you like on the chair, cross-legged, slouching. It, you just make yourself feel comfortable. There's a little bit of paperwork in the office. And, and then probably one of the first questions will be something like, you know, tell me why you decided to come to counseling at this point in your life. And if somebody would like to book a session with you or one of the other counselors at the Pemina Counseling Center, how are they able to do that? Probably the best way is to call the office in Morden and the number there is 204-822-6622. But we also have a great website and when you um, search for Pemina Counseling Center, you'll find us and you'll find pictures of all the counselors with little bios and I think there's some videos and that's even a great way to kind of get a first glimpse into who you might fit with, right? Can I, can I stare at that face for an hour? That kind of thing. Absolutely. Uh, Christine, thank you so much for joining us for Pemina Valley Mental Health Awareness Week. You're welcome, Nicole. Thank you.